Hello, it's uh, Darren from Grills Plants here in Cornwall in the UK. Today, today is the 11th of March and today we are sowing peas. Not sweet peas, but peas. Um, so what do you need? You need a seed tray, you need some compost. Got plenty of supply of that. We also need some pea seeds. So we're um, growing an early pea called Onward from CK Horticultural Supplies. Um, we always buy off them or premier seeds for our for our vegetables and um, peas. Um, always get a good germination rate from both those companies. I've always grown Onward because it's just such an it's uh, such a reliable pea. It's what you call a dwarf pea, so they will they will stand it with a framework about three to four feet tall. Where some of the older varieties of peas, like say Alderman for instance, can grow up to six feet tall. Um, but you'll get a really good decent pea crop out of Onward, so there's no need to have a bigger plant. So why are we um, are sowing them um, in seed trays? Because you can, if you wish to, you can sow them direct in the ground. Um, why we don't is because we back onto Heathland. Um, we know from our trail cams, we get mice, field mice in our garden at night. Um, when we're all asleep, we can see them on the trail cams. Um, so what we don't want to happen is us to direct sow the sweet, not sweet peas, direct sow the peas and then the mice come up and dig them up um, and take them away. So this is it over the back wall, this is where the field mice are and um, they'll climb over our back wall and they'll steal our peas if we uh, direct sow them. But if we do them into a cell or into a potting tray and once they're established then and it's a bit warmer then we would um, harden them off and then we would plant them out when they're nice established plants mice tend to leave them alone at that point don't tend to dig them up so here we are I've been what I've been doing as I've been putting the compost in is sprinkling it through my hands to get rid of any major lumps now what I'm going to use my little tool here this one here and I'm just going to try and level it off a bit so we've got a level surface to sow and then I'm going to lightly tap the soil down and then I go around the edge and I clean that up like that. Now if you don't have one of those tools it's no problem you can use another seed tray place it on top like so lightly press down with your hands and that will do the same job. So now for sowing the peas so I'm just going to basically space them out going to have about five in a row so when we actually take these out they're going to be easier to actually prise apart when we plant them out we plant them in twos um, two plants together um, because they'll find their own way and you will have you know a nice big crop of peas doing it this way so let me carry on with this and if by magic there we are we've got 40 seeds all placed in the positions we want them so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to you can actually do this single if you want so think of your knuckle and think of your first knuckle that's about the depth that you want the pea to be about there look. so you're basically poking it in to your first knuckle go around do the next one do the next one next one next one if you're really clever you can do two at once, two fingers, which is what I tend to do. Remember first knuckle. There we are, all poked down through. So what some people do is just basically smooth it over now. What I tend to do though is I want to make sure that um, each pea is sound and has got firm footing. So I'm just going to basically backfill the holes with some fine compost I don't know if you've noticed um, with my videos I always say what date it is and where I am the reason for that is that when I was myself looking at YouTube for advice um, often they'll say someone will say now then today we're sowing say bees but they're not telling you where they are um, which is important because um, sowing peas in America would be a different time scale than if you were sowing peas, say, in the UK. 
and they don't tell you when they're sewing them so I tell you when I'm sewing them because that's then you know if you're in the UK I'm saying it's 11th of March then you know 11th of March okay these are good to go if I've got a greenhouse I can sew them and put them in the greenhouse or a windowsill or a conservatory so that's the reason I do that because I got so frustrated with the sheer fact that there is no real way of telling when someone's sewing something on YouTube about when's a good time to sew these things so yeah peas would be really greenhouse end of February all the way through March all the way through April um, May you could sow in May depending on the variety of pea um, obviously I'm growing an early pea so um, you could still sow these in May but you're going to get a later crop uh, and peas are a bit of a cool climate plant so you know they like to grow sort of um, let's say in April and May and then produce maybe their peas by the end of June so before it gets to you know hot months of July and August so what I'd suggest to you is have a label like this and write on there what it is and the date you sowed it I keep I'm keeping a book now and I know what they'll be when they come up I'll know when they germinate these will be peas and they're onwards so I'm gonna be a bit lazy and I'm not gonna use a stick so I've got this old uh, tin foil tray, which you'd uh, use to maybe cook a turkey here in the UK in over Christmas, um, sort of disposable thing. And I basically fill this with water and then let the water come up from the bottom. Rather than me disturbing the seeds, then I can feel that that is nice and damp. And I'm going to remove this tray of peas and then put in my next one. And in goes the other one. In it goes. It's just suspended in there. And what I'm going to do is top the water level up with my little watering can. So the water level is quite high. Give it five minutes. Come back. And I'll be ready to go into my greenhouse. Um, if you want, you can put like um, a lid on, a see-through lid. Uh, it depends, I guess, how fast you want them to germinate. Um, that's how easy growing peas is. So go and grow some peas in your garden um structure wise you can use obviously bamboos you can you make a bamboo structure you can use like um almost like willow type branches which you could make a framework with we use an old um stock fencing let me show you quickly in the corner so this is what they call stocks fencing which i managed to pick up on marketplace for free um from a lot material who was wanting to get rid of it uh, so i went and picked it up and then what I did is um, bought some posts. So then during um, when I plant these in, I obviously round the posts into the ground, um, stretch out this metal framework, and then the metal framework of the stock fencing, the peas will climb up over it. So there you go, growing peas. Easy peasy. So please comment any questions. Um, follow our page. That would be great if you could. Um, also, um, you can find us on Facebook if you uh, look for us. We're called Grills Plants. Um, that's G R Y L L S for Sierra Plants. Take care.